James Stewart is the current president of the Association for the Study of African American Life and History. He proudly outlines the group's own history. The association was started in 1915 by Dr. Carter G. Woodson, who was one of the first black PhDs from Harvard University. Carter G. Woodson established what was first called Negro History Week, later became Negro History Month and has evolved into Black History Month. Stewart collects politically charged African-American art at his home in Pennsylvania. The piece next to it is a, uh, a representation by Elizabeth Catlett of a lynching. There are no faces of the perpetrators, so that it's a way of saying that this is really sort of a, a cultural phenomenon as opposed to something that is done by individuals. Stewart says Black History Month is an effective method to combat such persecution. For so many decades, there was a dismissal of the impact of people of African descent on Western civilization. So the, re the recovery and the ele elevation of that history is absolutely critical for ongoing efforts to try to promote equality in this country. Stewart worries about the current shrinking of black neighborhoods in big American cities. Several decades ago, they were thriving cultural centers. The deeper you go into some traditionally black inner city areas, Stewart says, like here in Pittsburgh's Hill District, the more you see abandoned homes, run-down storefronts, and police chasing people down. Stewart is helping with efforts to revive these neighborhoods. Yeah, what you're describing is what I would call a 21st century approach to community empowerment. Malik Bankston is the executive director of the Kingsley Association Community Center. He is exhibiting a miniaturized version of a Pittsburgh neighborhood in order to work on ideas for renewal. He says it is important to remember heritage while also working for the future. Right outside of this building uh, is a mural project that was completed about uh, 16 months ago. And on that mural project are, are depicted the faces of all sorts of people who are part of this neighborhood's past, but there are also faces of people who represent this neighborhood's future. Most of us don't usually realize that we're part of, that we're actually making history. In the U.S. Capitol, Washington, members of the Association for the Study of African American Life and History recently came together to celebrate the 135th anniversary of Carter G. Woodson's birth. Like the founder of Black History Month, they said they were proud of their heritage and would make sure it continues to thrive. Nico Columbans, VOA News, Washington.